This is Margaret Brennan in Washington. It took the might of the Russian military descending on a European capital to convince continental leaders and the United States to freeze Vladimir Putin's personal bank accounts and harshly sanction Russia. You can veto this resolution, but you cannot veto our voices. But all of the moral outrage and a U.N. condemnation vetoed Friday by Russia show that the global response failed those in the line of fire. Last night was the most horrific for Kiev since, just imagine, 1941. President Biden won't send U.S. troops, but he did send more than one billion in security assistance, including body armor, anti-tank weapons and munitions for Ukraine to defend itself. Since it is not a NATO member, Ukraine stands alone against one of the world's biggest militaries. An invader that doesn't recognize rules of engagement, whose leader does not seem to care about public sentiment at home or abroad. Therein lies the dilemma for diplomats. How to persuade a man who now prompts comparisons to history's most infamous dictator to abide within a world order he has set out to destroy. But I think we have lost the will to defend it. Former U.S. envoy to Ukraine, Ambassador Kurt Volker. We've drawn a bright line to defend our NATO allies. But by drawing such a bright line, we are leaving Ukraine and others out in the cold. It is ending the kind of world that we thought we were living in. Is the bottom line that might actually does make right? And that is what Putin is trying to demonstrate. The U.S. and its allies plan to bar some Russian banks from the SWIFT international payment system and tie the hands of its central bank, moves that may disrupt global markets. Even President Biden acknowledged the limits of his strategy. No one expected the sanctions to prevent anything from happening. And then there is China, which noticeably abstained from condemning Russia's aggression. It's unclear whether Western isolation of Moscow could bring it closer to Beijing or whether Putin's appetite for risk will drive a wedge into their budding alliance. As Europe faces the most brutal conflict on the continent since World War II, it is clear the impact from Vladimir Putin's war will not be contained within Ukraine's borders. Our allies will not be safe as long as you have a dictator on the prowl. Diplomacy only makes sense when you have force uh, underneath it. When you have a balance of forces, you have strength, then both sides have a reason to settle. But when it is one side imposing its will by force, diplomacy is really capitulation.